as a nail tech, I think every woman should experience the little nails at least once. Stay tuned. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way. Hello my lovelies. Yes ma'am, we 3 and O. Oh. I'm back with another video. Thank y'all so much for tuning back in. I told y'all the girls want the stilettos. My client that comes in and gets just simple braider nails, not simple because she loves designs, but she always get braider nails, came in today and said, I want stiletto on all of them. I almost flipped out my chair. I love stiletto nails. I love doing them for my clients. So today we're just gonna do her a stiletto freestyle. Now with this set, I am able to take my straight edge clippers and clip the tips. I did inform you in my previous stiletto video that I do not like to use straight edge on anything over long just due to them being so long. So if my straight edge can cover the entire nail as such, then I will use them to create my shaping because I still have visual control over how the shape will look. So for my stiletto nails, I like to just take my straight edge clipper at an angle and remove from side to side. As you can see, I don't want to remove too much from one side. So just as I will with my e-file, I like to go a little bit here, go to the other side, take a little bit, and then go back and finish the tip from a visual angle. If I just went in and big chopped all the way across, you could potentially remove too much of the nail tip and that will ruin your shape. So take a little bit from each side to where it may give you a coffin and then take the rest from the tips and that will give you the best precise short stilettos that you can possibly get. After using my straight clippers, I will go in with an 8080 nail file and just refine the sides of the nail to get more of a precise stiletto. So this process, you do want to still work from side to side because you want to make sure that your stilettos are centered with the client's nail. And I do apologize for being out of frame on a few of these nails, but the rest of them are in frame. But even out of frame, I'm still just working from side to side and making sure that the point of my stiletto is centered with her entire nail. So after I do the side shaping, you will see me flip the nail over and just look at the client's view of the nails. Once you flip them, that is what the clients will see. And then I will notice if I need to correct any of my stiletto shapes and it tells me if any of them are crooked or anything like that. So when you see me flip the nail, it is to get a different view of the tips just to make sure they are all centered and straight from my angle as well as the client's angle.
And now I'm just going to take my e-file on a soft speed of four and just blend the nail tip in with the base of the nail. I'm not drilling too hard to create a ring of fire. I'm simply just blending that edge because that takes away any excess air that may get under the nail and cause lifting. That's right, you guessed it, I'm using my Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush, my all-time favorite nude base to put under any design. It just simply goes so well with all skin tones, all skin types. It's just a beautiful color. Every time I put it on my clients, just as foundation, they always say, I'll walk out just like this. No, you're not, girl, because I'm going to do this design that's running through my head like a chicken with his head cut off i'm finna do this design but we over love the mia secret nude blush it will be linked down below also when working with shorter nails i am able to control my beads more so i am able to stick to a two bead method Sometimes a three if I really need to build the apex up stronger, but for the most part, I'm able to do a good two beads, and I love to do my pinch method just to get me the ultimate point at the tip of those nails. So stay tuned and watch as I apply this acrylic just as I would on any other fabulous set that I create.
just like that just like that get into that flawless buttery finish they are so beautiful and smooth and now I'm going to go in with my 8080 nail file and just regain my stiletto shape so I am moving from side to side making sure that I'm getting the ultimate point I also like to angle my nail file underneath the nail to make sure I get any excess acrylic or nail tip that will be under the nail as well Today I have included my sanding technique so I do like to start around the cuticle line with doing my sanding just to seal all the tips. This is very important for keeping the nails on and making sure that the client gets no lifting. Most of the times unless the client has a really deep sidewall pocket I'm able to get a flush foundation. So make sure that you start with going around the cuticle. And as you can see, I like to just hit all angles 
of the nail and making sure that from any angle that foundation is perfect I am not using any faster than a six speed and if I go to a five speed it just doesn't give me the same finish so I do like to just work on a speed of six and normally this gives me the flawless polished finish that I desire so I will go ahead and let you guys watch as I continue to get a better shape on these already stunning nails. And these beauties are ready for their close up. As you can see, I can turn the nail at any angle and it's just completely stiletto, short, sweet, and to the point. Get into it. This is literally my favorite part about doing nails. The foundation, yes ma'am. Can I get 10 foundations please? So now here are the colors I'm using. Take a screenshot if you would like to use any of these colors and I am using them on my design rock. A lot of people ask me are these crystals or are they made for nails. I literally find them on Amazon in the nail supplies so I assume they're for nails but if you have like a jewelry line or something that you sell that's small you could easily use this for just a display tray but they work so well for polishes and it's very easy to clean up so i adore them i use them non-stop and now i'm just going to set out enough polish of each color that i'm going to use and we're going to get into this design i think it's going to be so cute And of course, I'm going in with my favorite matte top coat for designing on. This is an Amazon matte. It does not belong to any specific brand. I just love the velvet texture for when I'm going to do my design. It allows my lines to be very crisp. And I did not use a 
gloss top coat because even with gloss it gives me a precise line but for this design I did not want to chance my lines touching at all and once I start the design you will see why but I will go ahead and put matte top coat on all of these nails and cure them for 60 seconds So the design that I'm going to do is a design I saw on Pinterest and as well as Instagram and it I'm just going to call it the bricklay design because that's essentially what it looks like. You are going to take your colors and lay them in the manner of bricks but with it being on stiletto the first one will look like a half tip French and then you will start to lay the bricks along that line so you will see how i do it here but i'm just going to start with my first color and be as precise as possible to get them all the same and then i'm going to cure in between each color so that i don't mess up and if i do need to wipe off i'm not wiping off my previous color so i'm going and doing my teal tips on all of the nails and then i'm going to come back and brick lay each color up the nail Stay tuned.
now that I have completed the teal color and cured all of those nails I'm going in with the pink color and what you want to do is be precise with that outer line as well as I'm not allowing my colors to touch so you want to leave a very hair like space in between each color just to give the appearance of a brick lay they don't touch or overlap at all if you've seen the pictures you can see that but so what I'm doing is just making sure that I do not touch that teal color whatsoever so it is pretty time-consuming of a design as well as you want to have a steady hand but the matte top coat allows me to do each finger without having to cure in between each finger because it's not going to move so definitely try the matte top coat trick if you want to get better with controlling your design so i'm going to go through and apply this pink brick on each nail and i'm going to cure this color as well before proceeding to my next color. So with this being a stiletto shape, the first two layers are starter layers and this is the first actual brick and I'm doing air quotes because you will see the actual rectangle shape for where it would be a brick. If you had longer nails or coffin nails or square nails, you would do more bricks going up, but I just wanted to see this design in its simple manner on this set. So again, I'm not touching that teal. I'm making sure my lines are very precise and I'm only using just a little bit of polish on the tip of my brush and controlling it as such. You don't wanna take a huge glob and risk putting more polish on the nail than you need because it will cause your shape to not be as precise. So take small amounts and make sure you are controlling that polish on that matte top coat. Do not touch it to either corner, but I am making sure that it, I'm getting it as square and precise as possible. So now I will go through and do my black brick on each nail and I will return to finish the set with our final color, which is the white layer.
Now with the white layer, this is where your artistry comes in because in my mind, I was thinking to do another brick, but I am finishing the set and I wanted it to appear as a V French brick lay. Like I'm just making up things here, you know? So instead of doing another rectangle, I went in and finished with an actual triangle, but I left the tip straight so it still appeared like the brick lay so you don't want to go up and make it all the way like another brick unless the nail was longer or you were going to proceed to go up with more colors but since i'm finishing the nail i did want to finish it the way i started it and that was with the triangle i do be over mathing the sets and that's why I'm, I'm just a perfectionist like that so if you want to do a brick do a brick but my artistry saw it to be a triangle so i'm going to finish doing these white triangles and that is the gist of this bricklay design and then of course i'm going to add just a kiss of bling at the end and that will be the finishing of this set Of course, for my stones, I am going in with my Extreme Glue Diamond Gel. My clients always crack jokes about this gel because it really can hold a wig down. It'll hold your dreams together. It'll hold, baby, it'll hold you together, okay? This glue, once I put it on with this glue, it's a wrap, so yeah. We're gonna use this glue and just put a simple little stone to add some bling, and I'm gonna finish this set off with a matte top coat.
Now, if you've gotten this far in the tutorial, I know you're a subscriber. I know you've liked this video because it gave what it needed to give. And I know you have the notification bell turned on waiting for the next upload. Thank you all so much for joining the Nine Lux fam and be sure to comment down below so that we can get acquainted. Also, I wanted to let you ladies know it is the summertime. We are getting into our warmer months and that means our skin is longing for moisture. Be sure to wear your cuticles, if not every day, every other day. This improves the appearance of your hands and also helps to promote healthy, strong nail growth. That is all for this set and until next time, make sure you guys follow my socials because I'm always uploading new reels and freestyles that you guys just don't want to miss.